What is up guys, Dashcam Driver here. Today I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update on the Phantom 3 drone. Uh, and I will just get right to it because some of you may or may not be already frustrated by this point. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first thing um, you probably want to do is check your firmware version. So do I actually need a firmware update? Um, and how I did this was first um, make sure you remove the gimbal clamp from the drone because you're going to be turning it on. You don't want it on there when you turn it on. Um, so first you're going to power on the remote. One press and then hold it for two seconds. And then same thing with the drone. One press and then hold for two seconds. Okay, and it's powered on. Next you're going to go ahead and connect your phone. I'm using an iPhone. Um, so I'm just using the lightning charger that came with the phone. Okay, so we're going to look at the DJI Go app. If you don't have it, you can get it from the App Store. Just search DJI Go. Uh, very easy to find. So you're going to go ahead and open it up. And if you've already gone through the process of connecting the drone uh, with the app, then you're good. If not, it's pretty simple. It walks you through it. It does a good job of that. Um, so once it's connected, you're going to hit Enter Camera View. and then this screen is going to come up. So right now for me it says overall status normal. The first time I did this um, I, I had not performed the firmware update yet and I had two uh, red triangle shaped icons here with an exclamation point in the middle basically saying your drone firmware needs to be updated, your camera firmware needs to be updated. Uh, and that's the point at when I started going okay how do I do this? Because um, it doesn't really give you any direction from here. So um, what you can do to check is if you go into this menu on the top right here um, and you scroll to the bottom of general settings and you click the about button it's going to show you the actual firmware version of your drone so right now I've done the update so you can see it's 1.4.10 I think I may still have an update to do for my remote controller as well um, since it's still 1.3.20 so I can show you guys how to do that also but um, right now I'll go through the drone um, first. Okay so once you checked your firmware and you know that you need a firmware update uh, the first thing you want to do is go and get the newest version of firmware which is on the DJI website. So here we are on the DJI homepage. Um, and from here, you're going to go to the products tab. And if you have a Phantom 3 series, that's what you're trying to update. Uh, you click on Phantom 3. And if you have a standard or a professional or advanced, um, that's going to determine where you go from here. So I have a prof professional, so I'm going to click on this tab. Uh, it's going to bring you to this page where you need to find this tiny button here, Downloads, and then go ahead and click on that. When you click on that, it's going to up, uh, bring up the page with all of these firmware updates on it. Once you're on this page, you want to choose the uh, firmware update appropriate for your drone type. So if you have an advanced, you're going to want to open this zip file. If you have a professional, you're going to want to open this zip file because these are the two different files for the 1.4 update. So I have a professional, so I am going to click on this zip file. And I'm going to go ahead and not hit open. I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to save it as, you know, something on my desktop so it's easy to find. And it takes about five or six seconds to download. And then it should be on my desktop. So once it is on your desktop or wherever, wherever you put it, um, you can either open it from there or there is an open button here that you can just hit and it'll open it up. So for me, it's trying to open it with Windows Media Player. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Um, so what I had to do was go 
back to my desktop or wherever the file is located um, and right click it. Let me bring it over here so you guys can see. Okay, here we go. So bring it onto your desktop, right click it, uh, and I said open with zip file manager. Keeps opening on the other screen. So uh, here's what it's going to look like, or at least what it looked like for me when I opened up the file. So if you double click on this Phantom 3 Professional Firmware folder right here, it's going to open up two separate um, items. So the first one says how to update firmware. So I got very excited when I saw this the first time because I thought that I finally found instructions on how to do it. Um, if you double click on this, at least for me, it opens up, as you can see, a completely blank document. It's just a white piece of paper, which obviously is not helpful at all. So um, what you need to do it, at this point um, is you're going to start working with this um, bin file right here. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do with that right now. Okay, so once you are at this point, what you're going to want to do is go to your drone and actually take out the micro SD card that is uh, in the drone. Now, I don't know if DJI provides a micro SD card in every model of the Phantom 3 or just the professional, just the professional and advanced. I don't know. Mine came with a micro SD card already in it, um, so it was easy for me. If you don't have one, you can just run down um, to the store and buy one. Um, make sure you get a good one. I don't know the exact specs that you need, um, but I know that it needs to be um, a pretty high quality one um, because of the type of video that this thing is taking. So to get the SD card out, I um, have it sitting right here. So the SD card is in this little slot uh, on the top of the gimbal on what is, I guess, the left side of the drone. Um, so to take that out, just set this down real quick. To take that out, you just hold, you know, stabilize the gimbal with your hand and then just press in on it and it will pop out. And there you have it right there. So at this point, um, if you have a micro SD card adapter, which I do not believe DJI provides, um, but if you have one, you can go ahead and stick the micro SD card in the SD card adapter. I happen to have one already. Um, they look like this. It just looks like a standard size SD card. Um, so go ahead and put the, whoops, this thing is super tiny. Go ahead and put the SD card into the SD card adapter. Um, something worth noting that these SD card adapters and, and a lot of SD cards now have this little switch on the side. Um, this is not a lock. A lot of people think this is a lock for once you put the micro SD card in, you lock that and it won't slide out. That is not what that is. This is actually your right protection um, switch right here. So when it's up, um, you're going to be able to write files to this SD card, which you're going to need to do in a second. If it's down right there, it's right protected and you're not going to be able to write anything on this. And you're going to go, oh my God, how do I, you know, if you don't know what this is already, you're going to kind of freak out and go, oh my God, why is it right protected? How do I unwrite protect it and all that stuff? So it's really simple. Just make sure that this little switch is up. Uh, okay. So once you have this all set up, you can take this and insert it into the SD slot in your computer. Um, I'm using a, my setup is kind of a laptop here. So where it is for me is just right on the side here. Um, so I just go ahead and slide it in and listen to it click. Like that, and bam, it's in. Okay, so once you have your um, SD card inserted into your computer, you're going to open up the um, 
the card itself. And to do that, um, you're just gonna go ahead and open up um, your PC files. You can go into my computer or you know it's down in your taskbar, however you wanna do it. So once you get in here, uh, this one is going to be your SD card. So just double click it to open it up. Uh, and at this point, you're going to take this bin file and drop it right onto the highest level of this SD card, which is where we are right now. Do not put it into this folder. If you put it into this folder, it won't work. So just go ahead and drop it on here. So we'll do it. So we'll just grab it and drop it on there. And bam, now it's right there. Now you just do the reverse of what we just did. So you're going to just go ahead and close that. You can close this too. Come back over here. Press in on that, pops out. Slide it out. Come back over here. Go ahead and just slide that micro SD card back out of there and then get rid of that guy. You're going to need this again in a minute, believe it or not, so just keep it within arm's reach. So now you've got your um, SD card back. You're going to come back over here, and I'm not actually going to put it in because I've already done the firmware update, um, but uh, I'll just kind of show you for now. So you're going to come back over here. You're going to you're going to pop it back in there and press it back in until it clicks. And at that point, you are ready to start the firmware update on your drum. Okay, so before you start the update, uh, just a few things that I checked beforehand. Um, made sure that the, the gimbal clamp uh, is off, which it, it is. We took it off a little while ago. Um, I did not put the props on. I guess the engines can sometimes spin a bit during the firmware update. Uh, and the battery is, you can check it by touching it once. You can see that the battery is fully charged. Um, so that's what I did before I started the firmware update, just to check. When you're ready to start it, all you have to do is power the thing on. You just hit it once and then hold it for two seconds like usual. It'll power on and it'll start flashing and making, making all kinds of beeping noises, um, which I can show you right now because I took some video of it while it was doing the update. So this is what it sounds like while it is performing the firmware upgrade. You can hear these beeps, they're pretty quiet. But that's what it sounds like. That's the only indication you have, I guess, that it's performing the firmware upgrade. There's no lights on, but um, the, you know, the battery is obviously on, but none of the lights underneath the arms are on it's just making this beeping noise um, and there is one flashing light uh, on the gimbal as well it's flashing from red to green so started this about one minute ago we will see how long it takes okay so it's changed now uh, now it's doing this so the beeps are different. The gimbal's now moving around and we have the front two arms solid red and the back two arms are flashing yellow. Um, yeah. Okay, so those are kind of some of the beeping noises that uh, it's going to make while it's performing the firmware update. Unfortunately, I did not record the beeping noise that it makes uh, apparently once it's done. Um, but it was, the pattern was like one long beep and then two short beeps with a pause and then it would repeat that. So it was like beep, 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 like that. Um, and apparently that's how you know it's done. Um, how you know that, I have no idea. How you're supposed to know that, I have no idea. Um, but uh, yeah, I was able to find that information uh, online. So once you hear that beep, for me, it took about 15 minutes to get to that point. Once you hear that, you can just power off the battery. 
uh, with one press and then holding it for two seconds like usual. Um, and at that point, you are going to actually confirm that the firmware update was successful. So just like I showed you before, you're gonna go back over here. Uh, you're gonna take the micro SD card out. You're gonna use your um, micro SD card adapter, stick it back in your computer uh, and reopen just like we did before. So once you do that uh, and you reopen it, um, you're going to come back here just like we did before. So if you need to go back and check that out um, as a reminder, that's fine. Uh, but once you get back into your micro SD card, um, it's going to look like it did before and mine is not a totally accurate representation because I didn't just do the update, I already did it. Um, but what you will see, or what you should see, is an extra file in here. And I can't remember if it was right below the .bin file or right above it, but it should be right here and it's gonna be a .txt file. So instead of ending in .bin, it should end in .txt. And you're gonna to wanna to open that file up, so just double click on it, open it up, and that is going to tell you whether your firmware update was successful or not. There's a little, for me, it was just a, you know, maybe one or two lines of text, uh, and at the bottom of it, it just said successful. Um, hopefully yours says successful as well. If it doesn't, um, I guess I would try it again. Just go in and, you know, delete all the stuff off of your SD card and, and, and start the whole process over again. Um, I was lucky enough to be successful the first time. Um, and that's kind of how it ended up. So once you're done with that, make sure that you, um, after your successful firmware update, make sure you that, that you delete these, you know, delete the txt file and uh, delete the .bin file off of your SD card. Otherwise, when you plug it back into your drone and turn it on again, it's gonna try to do, I think, it's gonna try to do the firmware update again. Um, and then you're gonna have to sit around until it finishes or, or something, I don't know, I've never done it, but I imagine that's what would happen. Um, so just make sure you delete all those files off there, go ahead and close it, take your SD card back out um, and stick and stick your micro SD card back into the drone. Um, and then you should be ready to go as far as, I believe that update was a drone update and a camera update. Um, there's another update, which I'm going to try right now. It's for the remote controller itself. I believe. So um, I will see how that goes and I will come back with instructions on that if I'm successful. Okay, so here we are uh, updating the firmware on the remote control. I've got everything powered on, the remote is on, the drone is on, and I've got the app fired up. So uh, when you fire up the app, um, unless it's already running in the background, this, this won't happen if it's already running in the background, but if it's not and you're firing it up and the app opens up, um, first thing you're going to see is this uh, aircraft status menu uh, and that overall status bar right there. Sorry, there's a glare. It's kind of hard to see, but it's overall status. So when I hit this, uh, it's blank. There's nothing in here, which indicates to me that there is no firmware update that I need for the remote control. Um, as I mentioned before, this is where... Uh, I first identified right on this line right here is where I identified that I first needed uh, a firmware update uh, and that's where the whole thing started. So I guess I don't need to update my controller firmware. That's all I can really gather from that. So um, I guess uh, unfortunately I can't show you how to do that if you do have a controller firmware that needs to be updated, uh, what I would recommend doing is going on to quadcopterguide.com. Um, they've been a lot of help. Uh, they've got a lot of great information on there. I will post uh, the link uh, down below in the description so that you guys can uh, find it easily. Uh, and they have um, written step-by-step -step instructions, um, which I followed for the drone update and they also have written step-by-step -step instructions for the remote update so if you do have a remote update um, you can go on there and follow those but uh, I guess that's it so um, thanks for watching I really hope this was 
helpful. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know, post them in the comments. I will try to clarify as best I can. Uh, and thanks again for watching. Please check out my other videos. I'm Dashcam Driver, and I will see you guys later.